We're in the old town in Rhodes in Greece and this is a walkthrough of a medieval villa which you can rent. We arrived here yesterday and uh, the first impression of the hallway was quite amazing as you can see. The fabric of the building is clearly old. It seems to be dated 1431. The owner told us that it's actually in a sort of palace area at the north of the old town and was apparently uh, some sort of tailor's guild. It's literally a few hundred meters from the castle and as you can see it has stone walls and ceiling. Now off this impressive hallway you see here we have a sort of dining area. Now in our case we haven't really got anyone to uh, entertain otherwise this would be quite a, a nice venue. Again stone walls and ceiling. In fact you'll see in the ceiling there's a, a skylight that lets in some natural light. Now also on the ground floor, one of the bedrooms, this is actually a room with a, a second front door off the street. Again stone walls and ceiling. And there's a bathroom, toilet, shower, there's even a washing machine in here. Now if we go back through this impressive hallway, we can go up the main stairs into the living room. You need to be slightly wary that there's no handrails. I get the impression from the owner that he's somewhat restricted in what uh, rails or barriers he can put on these stairs. Now this is the main living room, as you will see, satellite TV, quite a nice room and uh, there's even a fruit bowl there that we were provided with by the uh, owner. And you can see those, those main stairs right in the middle of the room and then there's a helical staircase that leads up to the second floor. There's even a piano. On this first floor we do have some more bedrooms. Now all of these rooms have proper air conditioning. You'll have noticed on the ground floor some standalone aircon units, but all of these other rooms have proper aircon units fitted. And there you can see that mezzanine floor above the main living room. Now this is described as the, the kids room and you can see why. And it even has bunk beds. Now moving on. Again another bathroom and shower. And then we come into a, a small dressing room of sorts with ward wardrobes there. And this room also has another staircase. So you don't need to go up the, the helical staircase. You can go up this normal staircase to get to the second floor. Where we encounter yet another bedroom. And this leads on to a shared bathroom here. Now 
again, a wide selection of toiletries were provided. The, the owner has been excellent in trying to meet all our needs with uh, food, milk, uh, toiletries, everything you could want, already prepared. You, you really don't need to bring anything from home. Now, as you see, the main bedroom leads back out to the, the helical staircase here. But we'll go up onto the mezzanine floor first. And this is quite impressive. This is an enormous collection of model cars. It really is quite impressive. And these belong to the owner, and he's been quite sensible in ensuring the cabinets are all locked, obviously. There's also a computer, and there's internet here. It's fairly typical Greek internet, but it does work. And that has Wi-Fi. So lots of cars. Now, if we actually brave this staircase. We come back down into the main living room. Now, this is a self-catering villa, but you'll see that there is quite a nice kitchen there. Uh, not only does it have the usual fridge, cooker and so on, it also has a dishwasher several coffee machines, toaster, kettle, everything you could need really. So let's go outside. You can see on the floor here, this is the, the skylight to the dining room below. And this is a nice shady area where you can sit. And then if you go up these uh, slightly narrow stairs, you will get to uh, another level here that actually has a barbecue, should you wish. There's a barbecue there. And uh, again, somewhere to lounge and relax. Quite an impressive view. And finally, another small set of helical staircase. And we go up to the roof. And on the roof we have sunbeds and a jacuzzi. Now the view from here is quite impressive. It's one of the taller buildings in the old town and it's right at the top of the hill. You saw the clock tower there and we have the sea and there's a, a cruise ship over there. So you can see most of the old town from here. It really is only a few hundred meters from the castle as well. So I think you can see why it's one of the, the top rated villas in Rhodes.